What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and something absolutely crazy that's going on in the reverse repo market, and why this is an indicator that we are getting closer. We're getting closer and closer and closer to a big move for AMC. I know this thing is red. I know this thing maybe maybe causing you to like cry or feel horrible, but I kid you guys not. Nothing has changed. The DD is done, and we know that we're getting closer and closer. I'm going to show you another reason as to why the MOAS is still on the table, and why I'm very bullish for AMC based off what's going on in this market. Now, before I get into any more details about the reverse repo market or what you should be expecting, I do have to mention some very important things first. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please do not take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, it benefits the entire ape community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below in the description. If you do sign up for Mumu and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500, but you're also going to get a free NEO share. Once again, that's a stock that has insane potential. So if you want this opportunity, please check out the Mumu link down below. But that's out of the way. Let's get on with the video. So looking at AMC, obviously this thing's been taking hits. However, I have not lost faith. I'm still very bullish for the future. I can't wait for what the future holds because check this out right here. This was posted on Reddit. We're seeing a $1.461 trillion reverse repo, the 142nd trillion in a row. Once again, guys, this is extremely amazing going into the future for AMC. Now, why is that amazing? I'm going to first define what reverse repo is, then actually talk about this right here. So let's go back right here. What is a reverse repurchase agreement or RRP? A reverse uh, repurchase agreement or a reverse repo is the purchase of securities with the agreement to sell them at higher prices for a specific future date. Now, right here, it says repos and reverse repos are used for short-term borrowing and lending often overnight central banks use reverse repos to add money to the money supply via open market operations so this is also what the central banks use it's their way of kind of improving the market so to speak but right now it looks very over leveraged so what does this mean this means that there's a lot of cash in the system this big number right here, there's a lot of cash. And these big banks have lost faith in the current market based off the way it is. So a lot of people have talked about the fact that there's going to be an inverse correlation with the overall stock market in AMC. They make the claim that the market has to crash for AMC to squeeze, but that's not the way I see it. I think there's truth behind that. I think there is going to be a correction for when AMC starts to MOAS, you know, when the squeeze comes. But it doesn't have to be like, as extreme as some people think it's going to be because i have preached on this channel that i don't see a, a massive massive crash coming i don't see the market crashing like that i do see a correction and i do believe that's going to be correlated with amc and it's moas so i just want to put that out there but how does this relate to amc so i'm going to actually read what this person wrote so they actually broke this down very very well and this actually is going to make a lot of sense if you just bear with me so let me just start off right here so big banks have a lot of cash at hand that's what i just told you guys to a bank cash is not an asset like it is to many people think of a store that has inventory on the shelf imagine there's a store that has like all these supplies Yes, they own the inventory, but if it's not sold, what is it even worth? It's not profitable. It can't bring in money. It just adds in more costs. So profit isn't made until it leaves their front door. You guys have to remember that. So they buy U.S. treasuries from the Federal Reserve as treasury securities go up at varying levels, whereas cash could go down. I suspect much of this influx of cash sitting at the commercial banks is the result of added hedgy collateral to put up with, you know, the support that they need for their leverage to keep on doing what they're doing, right? So they have really high margin needs, these hedge funds. So a lot of this cash is supporting them, but there's a limit to what can actually be done. Reverse repos were after all, it's basically zero for a very long time until March and since then have reached all time highs. So what does this have to do with AMC? And this is the part I was talking about. I think reverse repo trends, being that they seem to be fairly consistent to the stock price of uh, the FINRA margin uh, reportings, reflect that the hedges, the hedge funds, they had to put it up with this one trillion plus to keep their shorts alive. Remember that speculation on the 13f show 
that their statements lead to the math that they are leveraged uh, about 10 to 1 on their positions. So approximately $15 trillion worth of shorts that didn't exist prior to March now do across as the entire meme stocks out there. So the stocks out there, everyday apes have stopped from being driven down to the ground. That's a $15 trillion market for the shorts according to this. And I do, th do think there's a lot of truth behind that. There's definitely insane over leveraged positions for the shorts. We've been talking about this for so long. So the other thing about this, the thing to note is that the banks selling their cash to the Fed overnight instead of investing it is that the banks are basically signaling that they don't see worth while investing in the market right now. It's like a bubble they expect to pop soon. Now, the thing about this is the fact that we're already seeing this big drop with the whole you know, insane situation going on in Russia and Ukraine. I mean, it's just very sad. It's also going to play a role. So since most major banks and investment firms have already signed a market correction inbound, basically, this is a very good sign for AMC. This appears to be supporting the theory. So another one out there is the fact that there's a lack of faith in this market. Okay. The banks don't believe in this market is very sensitive. You guys have to remember that. You can't forget about the $650 trillion in uh, uh, the derivatives market. I mean, these massive funds, these institutions, they're over leveraged, they're getting hammered. And there's no institution out there that could keep this up forever. The bubble is going to burst one way or another. So for the future, you guys have to remember these big companies out there, they, they have these big repurchase agreements, but the question is, how are you going to meet these collateral requirements? It's so, so, so difficult. It's insane debt that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, essentially. So for AMC, what this means is that these big you know, institutions, the banks, they don't have faith in the current market as of right now. People are not comfortable right now. So what's happening is these big shorts they've they've been pretty comfortable shorting these positions how well do you think that's going to be for them going into the future when the bubble pops eventually it's going to pop now i'm not saying there's going to be a massive market crash it doesn't have to be a massive crash i see a major correction right there's a difference between that and we're already kind of seeing that correction let me show you guys the spy we're at 419. We're below the 420 level of support. And we're, we look like we're going to see a double bottom. Perhaps I'm not quite sure about that. But going right here, we were at 480, the all time high. We're barely at 419 at the time we're recording this. We've dropped pretty darn hard, guys. This is already the start of this major correction. And some people would call this the crash. I don't even think that this is the full on crash yet. I do see this as a major correction. I do see the market kind of rebounding in the future, but right now it's it's not looking too good. And the market's in a very sensitive spot right now. That's a good sign for AMC because these shorts cannot keep this up. So when the squeeze comes, the MOAS, it's not just going to be AMC. We're going to see a bunch of plays squeeze simultane simultaneously, in my opinion. We're going to see Bed Bath & Beyond run up. We're going to see GME run up. I'm going to see a bunch of different plays. But anyways, that's what I have for this one, guys. I know you're frustrated. I know we see this big M that's forming. I know AMC is down. But I haven't lost any faith. I'm still very bullish for the future. And I think getting AMC for 15 bucks a share, that's a really good deal. It's an insanely good deal. So nothing has changed. Anyways, thank you all for listening. I hope I provided some value for you guys. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.